Hello, this is Dr. Kent Holtorf, and today we'll talk a little bit about hormone replacement therapy. And it's been in the news a lot about bioidentical hormones. And you hear controversies, you have Oprah and Suzanne Summers saying they're better, then you have experts saying there's no difference. Well, bioidentical hormones are not just for menopause, they're also for perimenopause, PMS, and a lot of other symptoms. But let's talk a little about bioidentical hormones. Are they safer? Do they reduce the risk of cancer, reduce the risk of breast cancer? The answer is yes, they do. I published the most extensive review, reviewed all the data on bioidentical hormones versus synthetic, published in a major medical journal, and found that yes, bioidentical hormones reduce the risk of heart disease, reduce the risk of breast cancer, and actually people, women, feel better on them versus synthetic, so they do have significant benefits. And, um, and when you look at the hormones, synthetic hormones, again, will increase the risk of breast cancer, uh, typically cause weight gain, irritability potentially, but with bioidentical hormones, you get the benefits without those risk of synthetic hormones. And bioidentical hormones are just not for women. Men also can significantly benefit from bioidentical hormones. Yes, different bioidentical hormones, uh, mainly testosterone. And we're finding that we used to, we were taught in medical school that high testosterone causes heart disease because men got heart disease, women didn't. But the studies are finding exactly the opposite, that low testosterone increased risk for heart disease. Also, low testosterone increased risk for prostate cancer, not high testosterone like we were taught in medical school. So that's uh, done a complete 180. Also with low testosterone, men will notice in, uh, decrease in energy, loss of motivation, loss of libido, just loss of that sense of well-being and that just uh, a sense of increased quality of life and, mo and motivation to do things. So what happens, men will just kind of think they're getting older, uh, they'll become that grumpy old man in the couch potato and, and the well, wife will blame that they're just lazy now, but actually oftentimes low testosterone. So just bringing those to more optimal levels, we can actually uh, increase the uh, uh, quality of life, energy, sex drive, as well as reducing the risk for um, uh, heart disease and prostate cancer.